What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at what I think is probably the best typewriter style keyboard out there. Uh, and I've done some research and looked at some of them. There's some fakes, some, some replicas of this bad boy here that just are chintzy cheap. Don't do it. Just to save some money, don't do it. I've also looked at some of the higher end ones like the Ozio keyboards out there. And those are great. Um, I think they're super good quality, and they do have that that round key typewriter retro look to them. So I'm I'm completely good with those Ozio style keyboards. But this this is going to give you like the closest thing to a typewriter. I mean, this has even got like little turns, like you are going to advance paper, or the little look at that same thing, little single, like you're you're, in, you're hitting your inner key, right? And that kick butt. And this thing is built like a tank, all right? It is super high quality. So what is this? It's the Quirky Writer, okay? Typewriter-inspired mechanical keyboard. And it's from Quirky Toys. There you go, quirkytoys.inc. Designed in California, USA, made in China, though. Boo! Well, think about everything is these days, right? Anyway, at least it's designed in the U.S. So what do you get? You're going to get this nice little manual that tells you, quirky toys, tells you how to run this bad boy. And it's got quite a few little things. So we'll go over that. You get a little keyboard tool, a little key, typewriter key thing. And if you want to run this wired, it comes with this nice braided cable. Okay? It's USB-C to... USB A. 3.1, 3.0, whatever you want to call it. And then you get this behemoth. Yeah, this thing's heavy. Um, nice. Quirky Writer S. Quirky Writer S. There you go. Beautiful keys. It's on right now. You can see the little LED lights in Bluetooth mode. It's got a nice little crevice here for a tablet. Oh, yeah. More to come on that. And then it's, it's not super thick but like I said it's got some little rubber feet down here on the bottom and it's the Quirky Writer S alright so let's go ahead and take a look at the features of this bad boy and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my iPad in this little slot and I'm going to use it as a teleprompter because I've wrote down a lot of stuff or better yet typed it with my quirky writer. All right, so Bluetooth connectivity to three devices at the same time, check. So you can actually pair this with three different devices. Wired USB mode and USB-C, I already went over that, the nice cable here. Dual scroll knobs, volume is on the left, mouse scroll is on the right. Now, keep in mind, these little scroll knobs, as you can see here, See, I'm scrolling. They work a little different on iOS. All right, that's that's what it says in the manual. But like I said, this is supposed to be the volume on all other devices, but iOS. But it works as a scroll, and then on iOS, the right one doesn't. Oh yeah, the right one's doing something. It is doing volume. Look at that. So it does work on iOS, although the manual does not say it. Uh, Android, Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, and Windows 10 and 11, okay? Maybe this is because this is iPad OS and not iOS that it works with the iPad. It just won't work with, like, your phone, okay? Mechanical switches, they're Cherry MX Clicky, typewriter style. Okay, and we'll get into that here in a second, how they, they, they work and sound. It's got a built-in tablet stand, 
for tablets or phones. It's also got an aluminum macro return bar, like a typewriter, programmable up to 16 characters. So you can, you can see here I'm just one carriage return at a time, and then I'll just scroll it back. Just like a typewriter, so cool. Uh, it's also got an aluminum chassis built sturdy. This is not cheap feeling at all. That's one of my notes I put on here. The typewriter style keys, uh, again, are with the Cherry MX clicky sound. In key mode on wired or wireless. And those are like all its features. Now, the cons. It does not have backlit keys on the S model. Why? This thing needs backlit keys. That's my biggest complaint. It's fairly heavy. Not a great portable keyboard. So a lot of people would get this. If you're a writer, I could really see this being an inspiration for you to write, okay? It's got that typewriter style look, feel. It's got the clicky keys. It really puts you in the, the mood to sit and create some content, okay? I sat and created this content with it, and I thought, man, this really feels like, I'm not gonna give you my age or my, but I'm gonna date myself, right? Um, I used to work on typewriters, and damn, did this just not feel like that? And it's also very pricey keyboard, but you do get what you pay for. I did put that as a note. This is not a cheap keyboard. If you go out and you're looking for the knockoffs of this that are cheap, you're gonna get what you pay for. Even though they've got backlit keys, they're cheap, they're chintzy, don't do it. Just play that waiting game. You don't have to have it right now. Save up some money for this and get it. Don't go cheap. Unless you want to go Asio, Asio, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and and I do have one back here, maybe if I can show you. Bring that back up. Maybe I've got an Asio keyboard back here. Yeah, I do. All right, like here's a here's an Asio keyboard. All right, this is not an ad for Asio keyboards. Okay, but uh, they've got that typewriter style keys. They're nice. This one's a little a little bit. Uh, glossy for me, but it really shows its fingerprints. That was one of the things I didn't like about that keyboard. Anyway, again, it will shut off after a little bit with no activity, and then you just hit a key, and it comes right back on, pairs up nicely, and just how cool is that to have a typewriter style feel when you're working on, you know, presentations, Maybe you're, you're writing a book. Maybe you're just writing, you're a college student, and you're, you're writing papers. I mean, this really gives you that inspiration. Now, let's do some key clicks. I told you we would do that. Let's just go right here and listen to these key clicks. Are you ready? There you go. And that's from behind the camera. I only spelled one one word wrong, okay? And then you just hit, boop, look at that. Just like that. And cinema inner key, which I got one, I just hit that because, man, that feels like a typewriter. So cool. Anyway, guys, check the show notes for a link. I'm giving you a heads up. You're going to get sticker shock, so just be forewarned when you click it. Look for some deals out there. You might find a coupon code if you go searching. You might find them put this on sale, maybe during a holiday or something. I'm just saying. Not that they do or they will, but if you're holding out and you want to look for a deal, you might do that. Um, I also believe this is available on Amazon, so I will try to have an affiliate link there. Uh, maybe you have uh, some Amazon gift cards or credits or something, and you can just buy it there versus going to their website. There are also some newer versions of this coming out. There's a screen coming out for this um, that they have, and there's a carry case. And so if you want to make this a mobile keyboard, they do have their own carry case that you can throw this in and carry around. And, um, you know, that's an option for you. And I'll try to link that in the show notes as well. So... Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, Going to try to keep it under 10 minutes, and we're right at that 9-minute mark. So, Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the show. Thanks for being here. Thanks for spending your time with us and watching the content. Hit that little notification button and subscribe so you'll be notified when we have new content coming out. And we've got some blockbuster stuff coming. If you think this is cool, cooler stuff awaits. So be notified when that hits the, hits the YouTube airwaves. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.